No, this is not clickbait. I am saying goodbye to VIP Kid. At least for now. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about why. So if you're ready, hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell, and let's do this. Before we keep moving with today's video, I wanted to take a moment just to thank Magic Ears for being the sponsor of today's video. Summer has finally come to my corner of the world, and that means that I've been spending a lot of time recently sitting by the ocean and reflecting on the past few months, and also planning for the months ahead. And as I thought about the past few months, I came to realize that it's been almost six months since I taught a class with VIP Kid. I never set out for that to happen, that was not intentional, but when VIP Kid made a few changes this past year to their payment policy, I started looking for other companies to teach with. If you're curious about which companies I've been working for, you can watch this video right here, and I'll also leave a link in the description down below. The funny part about this is that over the last few months, I've still been making videos, and I've still made videos that featured VIP Kid. And in those videos, I didn't have anything really negative to say about them, but at the same time, I didn't have anything particularly positive to say either. And when I reflected on that, I kept hearing my mom's voice in the back of my head saying, if you, if you don't, don't have anything, anything nice to say, to say don't, don't say, say anything at all. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not say anything about VIP Kid for a while. After this video, of course. I've just been finding that recently there's not a lot that's getting me excited about VIP Kid. And that's what I want for this channel. I want to be excited about the things that I talk about here. Sometimes that's a new prop or a new puppet. Sometimes it's a piece of technology that I'm using in the classroom. Sometimes it's a new company that I'm teaching with. And that's the direction that I want to take this video. I thought I'd spend the rest of today's video talking about the top three things that are getting me excited about Magic Ears right now. Let's talk about exciting thing number one, and that is group classes. If you've never taught a group class online, I would highly recommend it. Group classes are fun, they are super engaging, they allow the students to interact with each other. It's just a whole different atmosphere as compared to one-on-one -on -one classes. With older students, you can have them interact with one another and they can ask follow-up questions of each other. Kids also love to compete with each other. And that has been evident in my group classes. The kids love to race to see who can say the vocabulary words first or who can say the target sentences first. So introducing a little level of competition in the classroom, I have found to be a winning strategy. It's also great for shy students. I've been finding that with students who are a little bit more reserved, when they see their peers speaking, answering questions, saying the target sentences, that kind of gives them permission to do it themselves. And if they are kind of unsure as to how to do it, they can sit back, watch their fellow students do it, and then model their behavior. So I find these group classes really good for shy students. I think a lot of teachers find the idea of group classes a little bit intimidating, especially when it comes to classroom management. And I was actually the same way. I was super nervous for my first couple of Magic Ears classes, but they do do a good job of giving you the tools that you need for effective class management clash, clash management, class management. So one of those tools is the mute all button. You're able to mute all of your students, which is great. Group classes can get a little bit noisy. And you also have the ability to turn off your student's camera. So if there's something distracting happening in the background or, you know, an animal comes into the frame or something like that, uh, you're able to shut their camera down so that it's not distracting for the other students. So that's great. So to sum all of that up, I think group classes are fun. I think they're a lot more lively and energetic than a one-on-one -on -one class. And I do think that they are relatively easy to manage. Let's talk about exciting thing number two. While I do think it's important to have fun at work, that's not the only thing that I look for. I'm also very concerned about earning potential. And the earning potential at Magic Ears is something worth getting excited about. When I look at the earning potential, this is what I see. Number one, there is a very competitive base salary rate, 
with regular opportunities for raises. They also pay teachers $2 extra per class when they're booked on a short notice basis. And one of the things that I love about Magic Years, they will message you directly and tell you, hey, we're low on teachers for this evening or for tomorrow, can you teach a short notice class? Someone is reaching out to you and saying, hey, do you wanna earn a bit of extra money? Yes, please. So that's thing number two, earning potential. And the third thing that I'm seeing from Magic Ears that's getting me excited is their teacher training. When you're just getting started teaching ESL online, there is a bit of a learning curve, right? These online classes, it's a whole different teaching style than being there in person at a brick and mortar classroom. Not only do they have a great onboarding process, so when you're a new teacher just getting hired, they do make sure that you feel well equipped and prepared to start teaching. But if you're someone who wants to go above and beyond that, they also have something called Magic Ears University. At Magic Ears University, you can choose between five different courses or bundles, and two of them are completely free. They're also available to any teacher, not just Magic Ears teachers. One of those free courses is called Intro to Online Teaching. And in this course, you'll learn all about the leading companies in the industry, what some of the standard pay rates are, what the prerequisites are for teaching online. Not only that, one of the things that I loved about this course was they go into some of the cultural elements. So they do talk about culture in the classroom and how the culture of your students might be different from your own. So if you're not used to teaching Chinese students, that's a great part of the course for you to dive into. Their other free course is called An Intro to Teaching at Magic Ears. And this is a great course for anyone who is maybe a little bit interested in Magic Ears, but you need some more information. Someone who's maybe not quite ready to commit all of the time and effort to going all the way through the application process. This course will give you a good overview of the company, what the teaching style is like. You'll get to see videos and hear from other Magic Ears teachers. So this will really give you a good sense if this is the right company for you. It might be, it might not be. So investing 30 or 40 minutes to go through the Intro to Magic Ears course for free is well worth it. So there you have it. Those are the three things that are exciting me about Magic Ears right now. Group classes, earning potential, and teacher training. As for VIP Kid, I think I'm gonna take my mom's advice and just be quiet for a little bit. If they do something in the future that gets me excited again, I'm sure I'll talk about it here on this channel, but for now, I think it's time for me to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. And if you wanna learn more about Magic Ears, if you want to apply, or if you want to check out one of the free courses at Magic Ears University, I'm going to leave links in the description of this video. Thank you so much for being here, and until the next video, have fun teaching. See ya!